Hey friends, hey, and welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. In today's video, I am going to be doing some cleaning and decorating for fall. If you missed it, I did post a video yesterday where I was also doing some cleaning and decorating. And today I'm gonna be working in my kitchen and then in my game room. And I thought I would take you along for some fall cleaning and decorating motivation. Today is also Thursday, so on my channel, that means Thoughtful Thursday, and if you're new around here or don't know what that means, it just means I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on a topic and the voiceover to inspire you in addition to giving you some motivation. Also, y'all, oh my goodness, this wheatgrass, I feel like it needs to go. It is so messy. It leaves a mess in the drawer where I store it, and it makes a mess when I'm putting it out. Another thing that I needed to do on this day was go ahead and deflate these pool floats as we are nearing the end of the summer season and so I wanted to go ahead and deflate them and then store them in the garage. I did leave one of them blown up just because even though it is September, it is still really hot here in Austin, so just in case we want to get in the pool still. Okay friends, for today's Thoughtful Thursday, I wanted to talk about something that might be a bit heavy. I wanted to talk about finding hope amidst suffering. Suffering is a universal human experience that comes in many forms, like personal loss, health challenges, difficult relationships, or even societal inequalities. When we are going through suffering, it can be hard to cling to hope for the future or hope for change. 
but it's not impossible. Having hope amidst suffering really is a choice. We cannot expect to just feel hope, but we must actively pursue it. Suffering is obviously a personal thing, but it also connects us all as it is a universal human experience. Regardless of the source of suffering, it often causes us to question our belief system, leaving us with more questions than answers. In situations of extreme suffering, we can feel powerless over our circumstances, causing us to feel hopeless. We wonder if change is a possibility. However, suffering can help strip away some of our beliefs that we are in control, reminding us of our vulnerability as humans. In this space of vulnerability, that is where hope can emerge, not as a denial of the suffering, but as a response to it. The act of seeking hope becomes a way of embracing our suffering and vulnerability, saying that while suffering is real, it is not the end. Hope truly is a choice we must make. Choosing hope does not minimize our suffering. It merely helps us to cope and move forward. If we are intentional about pursuing hope, it can have a profound impact on our spirit. It enables us to endure even when external circumstances seem unbearable. Hope can come in many forms. For some, it is rooted in spiritual beliefs where they find comfort in a higher power and meaning beyond the suffering for suffering's sake. For others, hope can be found in the connections that they have with family or friends, receiving comfort and empathy during a difficult time in life. Recognizing the growth and resilience you have gained through the suffering can also be another source of hope, acknowledging that the suffering was not in vain. One of the most effective ways to find hope in suffering is to shift your perspective. While it is natural for us to focus on the pain of the present, stepping back to view suffering as part of a bigger picture can be empowering. This shift often involves recognizing that suffering, while it is painful, is temporary and that the future holds the potential for healing and renewal. Sometimes suffering helps us to view the world through a different lens, appreciating the little joys in life, being more empathetic towards others, or it may be a catalyst to find a greater purpose in life. Finding hope amidst suffering doesn't have to mean we're denying the pain of the challenge we're enduring. It just helps us to embrace the complexity of life. It helps us to see things in a different light and allow these challenges to make us better, stronger, and more resilient than before. Something that can also bring hope or provide comfort is recognizing most of us who have endured suffering can attest that it does eventually end. We may have to face some other type of suffering in the future, but our current suffering will let up. We don't have to allow our current suffering to define us. This is where hope can shift things. This suffering, even if it is longer than we want it to be, is only one chapter and not the whole story of our lives. Well, friends, that is all I have to share for today's Thoughtful Thursday thoughts. As always, I love to hear from you in the comments. Please share with me down in the comments your thoughts on my thoughts. And I do want to say, I know I've said this before, but if you are going through something really challenging and you feel comfortable sharing with me in the comments, I would love to pray for you. And whatever you're going through, just know you are not alone.
I've learned how to hide inside this dark cafe Put my headphones on and I stare into space Wrestling thoughts till they fall into place And I hope they don't need an escape But you're calling me and you wanna catch up When I'm short on sleep and I keep getting stuck Old memories that hit me like a truck But I can't keep on pushing my luck So until I'm better Maybe we could talk about the weather You could show me your vacation pictures I'm tired 
Y'all, I don't know if you saw my video yesterday where I was decorating my living room and I was on the struggle bus trying to decorate that space. I don't know if it's just because it was the first space that I decorated with all my fall decor and I had so much to choose from, but today, decorating my kitchen and game room seemed to go so much more smoothly and so much more easily. Like I said, it might just be because I didn't have a lot of decor left after decorating my front room, so it was just less to choose from. And here I thought it would be fun to use this kind of burnt orange blanket in this game room but for whatever reason I just didn't like the look of it with all of the pillows and I definitely wanted to use those pillows so I just went ahead and stuck it in a basket in the corner I may use that in my bedroom a little bit later but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and use this cream colored blanket I feel like it just looks more calming and peaceful with all of these kind of rust colored pillows. Okay friends, that is all I have for today's video. I hope that the cleaning and decorating were motivational for you and that you were encouraged or inspired by the things I shared in my thoughtful Thursday voiceover today. But as always, I really appreciate you watching my video all the way until the end and I will see you next time. Bye.